Welcome back, or should we call you Lion Love Cake? Oh, God. Sorry, I had to go on my, <laughs> had to go on to my phone because for That's some okay. reason my computer laptop stopped working, and then so now I've, I've, I've changed. That's okay. Lion Love Cake's a really cool name. Too, it is. So. To it, I it? know. I can't change it. <laughs> <laughs> so where are you guys right now? Obviously, you're not together. Or you're just sitting in separate rooms being antisocial. We're in the Any same um, city or town, but just in different houses. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Cool. You're coast. avoiding being sick. Huh? Yeah, very sick. <laughs> Tissues. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thanks so much for joining us. Uh, this is rad. We're excited to have a chat with you guys. Nice. Excited. Also, it gives you like a little taste of what to expect and maybe scare you off before you guys come out for good things in December. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I think we, yeah, I've, I've definitely, yeah, it's going to be interesting. As in it's going to be a hell of a time. I feel like <laughs> it's, it's going to be a hell of a time. It'll be fun. Some of our friends are playing there as well. So it'd be nice to have like familiar faces and also see new faces. It'll be fun. <laughs> I think as yeah. well, and Australia I'm hasn't out. had festivals for like proper big international festivals. This would be the first big one. Oh, yeah. Really? Like in, in our since, scene. Since, since COVID. Yeah. Since COVID. Yeah. And so okay. people are going to be just champing at the bit to support and get amongst it, which is really, really exciting. It's going to be crazy then. All that so, energy pent up. <laughs> oh yeah for sure for sure so you mentioned that some of your friends will be there now some of your friends are how we discovered you and those friends would be the lads in bring me the horizon <laughs> <laughs> are we, are, look you might not be able to give spoilers are we going to get a potential a potential feature <laughs> we don't know it's up to them it's up to them we discussed this the other day in an interview, we said that when bands tour together and they've got songs together, if they don't play on each other's thing and when they're playing the same lineup, they're bad people because that's <laughs> what the fans want. So I'm just saying, like, no pressure, but it's, yeah, it's so such, a, such a wasted opportunity. It's, I know what you're saying. We, must we agree, are there yeah. in the same place. We are there in the same place. But then we played festivals together recently and um, just different and we different set lists they might change up the set list yeah i suppose it would be hard for a band that big as well like trying to squeeze in all the songs from their catalog that they know the fans want to hear. they got a lot of bangers so (laughs) yep and you guys have just dropped an epic album like well done by the way it sounds incredible um how are you going to approach this first time in Australia? Are you kind of a little bit nervous on on how to? Because it's going to be the first time a lot of people even hear you. Like they might just be walking past and check out you guys. Is, is there any sort of anxiety with what songs to present to people for the first time? <laughs> there is now. No. <laughs> Sorry, I know. <laughs> um, I don't think so. I, I think we just. Um... I think we just do what we do and hope for the best, you know. I don't think we ever think about it. I think each country that we play, we just do what we do and then hope that the audience get it and connect with us. And usually it's a great outcome. We have a lot of fun. The last tour yeah. we just did was crazy. <laughs> I think that's what you guys do, though, just as artists. And that's what is defines your success. It's, just, it's unapologetically you. Yeah. 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 We'll be interested to see like the different countries crowds way of like doing things because the territory is completely different like in Europe the crowds are crazy or like when you go to Scotland they do this chart that they all do like here we here we here we fucking go so I like I wonder what Australia is going to bring if it's like a different vibe or it's going to be interesting we need to make a chant. Yeah we'll come up with a chant like like a a football chant or something yeah for sure yeah (laughs) Then again, like depending on what time in the day you're playing, Australians just usually get way too drunk and all just fall all over each other in the pit. So, I mean, it'll be fun to watch anyway. (laughs) Ah, Well, no, we can't wait. Yeah, it should be. And are you prepared for the warmth of Australia? Because obviously the UK is not notorious for that. Playing a set, like I don't know what time your set's going to be, but if you've got like a mid-afternoon set, middle of summer, that could be an experience for you guys. (laughs) 
Is it outdoors, the stages? I would assume so. Yeah. Most of our festivals are. festival, yeah. It's going to be hot. It's going to be really yeah. hot. Yeah. yeah. We just Maybe. done, um, it was just a heat wave wherever we were. We were like a few places like in Germany and uh, Prague and that. The heat wave was so intense. We was on stage. The guitars were soaked. Our, our eyelids were like covered in sweat. And I've never gigged in that kind of heat before. And that was hard because you go on stage feeling like you can't even walk. So I don't know what to expect. If Australia's going to be hotter than that, then uh, we're going to be pretty... Uh, we need to have but... a fan at the front. We need like airflow. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Sweat. I think the other thing that um, with the Australian heat, the things that get... That get you know international people mostly is like the humidity especially sort of in you know like sydney and, and brisbane that because you've got that coastal sort of that coastal you know weather and it, it does get quite sticky on some of the days and it's pretty gross to be honest so good uh, luck oh great <laughs> way to sell it man <laughs> all of a sudden nova twins have dropped off the bill i do think the fan <laughs> the fan thing is a great idea because even if it's not that hot can make you look real dramatic, just kind of blowing in the wind. Oh. As well. So win win either Been way. Been loving a fan at the moment. Been loving a fan. It's very like the Beyonce. It's Beyonce. Great. <laughs> it's the Beyonce fan. <laughs> hey, what, what do we think of Beyonce's new album? We really like it. It's been divisive. I like that um, it's different. She's done so many albums. Like she has to change it up every time. So I like that she just like went for something different. It's kind of like a summary vibe she dropped it randomly in summer yeah mm. I, think. I think it's got um like a, a kind of feel good that you can put it on and just be kind of motoring in the right way doing your th- things kind of <clears throat> she's got a feel good energy to it really yeah. and we do love being you know i don't really know many people that don't love beyonce like i'm not an active beyonce listener but if someone puts it on i'm not like oh don't turn i don't want to listen to this because it is it's exactly that you can't it's it's raw talent yeah, no. One. And her band, <laughs> her band are like crazy. So good. Have you watched the yeah. the Coachella like live thing? Yeah, yeah. Oh man, that was impressive. Have you seen it? That's and like Glastonbury not. and Glastonbury one is crazy. Oh, I haven't seen the Glastonbury. Outfit. Oh, that hey, one is uh, mad. Yeah. Watch that about ten times. <laughs> I will have to get amongst that. So you guys are known for having a, a quite a, a vivid, energetic performance, and you've toured with a, some pretty eclectic artists. Is there a what, what goes into preparing for a live show for you guys? I, I know you're just unapologetically yourselves, but what's your go-to to be like, cool, let's step this up, let's give the people some energy? Do you have anything there that you like plan and prepare for, or is it depending on the crowd or the show? I think we do. I think we obviously we get, we rehearse <laughs> and we'll have rehearsals. And we do like to be honest. We like to think about the show, and we're always thinking of ways how we can step it up. And we sometimes we do it on the road. We're like, okay, we'll do a gig, and then we'll f- kind of all kind of we're quite critical on each other, and we'll be like, okay, well maybe this needs to be extended because I feel like the audience were enjoying that bit. So we do. We want to play with that energy that exists and we do think about them because they've come all this way to sit there and watch us for an hour which is a very long time to stand on your feet you know in the heat so we do make an effort and um we do try and listen and to the room a bit and be like okay this bit was so much fun we want to extend that or this bit didn't really work let's cut that and make this you know what I mean so we're on the road we were developing it just like now like the other week Mm -hmm. each day just changing things, being like, Jake, were you sticking this bloody drum solo here? <laughs> yeah, let's yeah. have fun. Because live, it's fun. We want it yeah, to be yeah. that feel, to feel real, you know, not, and we do have the privilege to do that because we're not like rooted to some crazy, like, you know, none of the music's, none of the bass or guitar is on track or anything. So we can do what we want, which is yeah. great. <laughs> you just also let, have... let the drummer know. So he's just not like, what are they doing? <laughs> no. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> Oh, no, we plan. Like... <laughs> it's like a pre-game meeting. We're like, right, game plan. What are we doing tonight, guys? Just we're in the like huddle. Yeah. yeah, like, whew. that's literally what we do before we go on to be fair. We get in a circle. We're like, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to the chant in the crowd. Now, you guys have a quite an eclectic sound too, and you, and you really pull from different uh, genres and, and landscapes in that. Does that 
come into it when planning the set list as well? Is it based on like, okay, cool. Like for a festival thing, we probably have like a shorter time slot. So we need to put all the high energy stuff or how do you like, what's the plan for that in terms of what we might expect coming out to Australia versus what you might get on something solo toured? <clears throat> yeah, for sure. I think on like, definitely like if we've got a half an hour set, we like to go high energy and like, keep the energy and just, just like a sprint to the finish but like on a kind of our tours that's like an hour set we like to kind of play with dynamics and like have different ranges of um you know tempos and vibes. give them a rest halfway through give them a rest. A rest. it's tiring <laughs> and that's a rest we're like oh, everyone we need a is rest. Nasty, so yeah crowd and uh need a little rest so we bring it down and bring it back up <laughs> but in, in saying that as well like the the newest album like the late latest album is it's a step up in intensity as well like even in like the sense of production it's there's less of that uh less of that sort of I guess the lo-fi garagey sort of sounds and it's it's much sort of I guess for use of a better term like more sort of metal production in a way like the drums are bigger the guitars and bass are much bigger um was that like a conscious thing that you wanted to go for like did it just suit the songs better I think we didn't really think about it when we were writing um the album it just was a natural progression of where we wanted to go like we wrote the album in lockdown so it was actually just in our like bedrooms <clears throat> and us like envisioning it on a big stage at hopefully some point um <laughs> so it just we just bought new pedals everything kind of escalated even more had time to just play around with sonics and just nerd out <laughs> on hell yeah music. yeah i love that and play on one of the on toolbox like i play on like a fretless bass on half of it and so it's just really just having fun with just different kind of textures and stuff that's a, a shred lord right there yeah those fretless bases always like sort of confused me it's yeah, just like to be fair most it's things so hard use, to play. It's hard but you to didn't play use it like that. a normal fretless bass um, though you made it sound like synthy synth. that was the point it wasn't oh. like in a jazz way it was a completely crazy sick tone that you got yeah. out of it by my yeah it sounded like a when i got it everyone was like why did you get a fretless bass that's in that punk and i was like you wait you wait and see <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not punk it's not punk that's, that's all about the attitude it's yeah about the i know they were literally so down on the fretless i was like just wait just wait trust trust in the vision <laughs> that's it you got yeah. the vision just to just communicate it through the music don't let them <laughs> yeah. based on the instrument but that's one thing as well that like that i've always you know noticed about you guys since checking you out it's very, very punk. Like it's got that real sort of old school punk ethos and attitude and imagery. So where do you guys, because like Nate said, like your sound is so eclectic, where would you say your main influences come from? Yeah, I think um, the main ones, I, I guess between us, there's like, obviously like we come up through like the punk scene, but it wasn't necessarily like, listening to like the sex pistols and stuff it was us being in southeast london playing the circuit with a load of bands that weren't known you know or some that are popular on the scene and things like that so um we were just playing gigs um we have both have a love of like missy elliott destiny's child that kind of noughties uh kind of r&b um but then at the same time like it kind of does delve off into different genres like i, I had a complete like glam rock and a garage rock kind of phase um not phase but when I was like 16 that's when I discovered it and I was like listening to New York Dolls like, all the time I was like I love this I love this and then it's it, I think and then we like jazz like we were listening to like Melody Gardo regularly and like <laughs> Gregory Porter so I, I think the point is we never really picked genres we just listened to whatever our mood is telling us to you know and we just like we like it all really it's like it doesn't I, we never saw it as a genre do you know what I mean we just like music yeah so yeah. there's just loads of influence and that's why the music's so like that as well because we never picked we wasn't like oh we're just a rock head we're just an R&B head we're just this head we, we, we were like didn't really matter where we just floated around <laughs> just want to put it all together you do hear that though like you said that Missy Elliott I can really hear 
elements of that and then you hear sort of like like Gwen Stefani but as if she was in like a new metal band in elements and there's like <laughs> there is these really cool twist and, and blends of genres and sounds put into one something so refreshing which I think is is why we're seeing you blow up so much and getting such a huge response my question with that is what would be your dream artist to tour with because you've got so many different inspirations pick like one what's the you, the go one. the one you want to play? yeah i know i'm a cruel cruel two. man well you can have you can have one each. ones yeah one each <laughs> okay <clears throat> amy you say the one that i know that we'll say and i'll say a different one <laughs> i'll say well, I'll say you know the one uh, okay. on, on flip universes because we can't we always say like we could be everybody's friend <laughs> because we do <laughs> things so, genres. so i'll say oh, it'd be sick to tour. yeah okay i'll say it'd be sick to tour with slipknot because i feel like it would just be sick and they're like you know one of the greatest bands ever and it would just be like a i don't know i think it would be amazing it'd be a hell of a tour um, yeah, and Doja Cat. <laughs> Why are you laughing? There's a, there's a bit of a backstory here. Early, early on, um, we did a Doja Cat video because we, I don't know if you checked out the channel before. We do everything, we, I have such eclectic taste, and we do. We saw like you to... review K and B. Yeah, did, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. But we, we check out <laughs> everything and anything, anything that's like, oh, this sounds interesting, let's check it out. Uh, we did Doja Cat and Johnny received so much hate for his commentary on that video. What did you do? (laughs) All I said was, all I said was that I can't personally get down with overtly, explicitly sexual lyrics. And I said, it it doesn't matter to me whether it's like, whether it's a female artist or a main artist, like literally the only, and there's like some of my favorite artists who have gone off and done solo things and they've got overtly sexual lyrics. And I just, I can't connect. Have you heard it. our song Puzzles? I know you're going to hate <laughs> Puzzles. <laughs> no. It's like, like, I'm I mean, going to review that next week. <laughs> terrible fucking one star. <laughs> no, but like, I mean, uh, it's just as long as it's not sort of like every song relentlessly sort of thing. And it's just, it's only because music for me is is such an escape and such you know, like I'm I'm a vocalist and lyricist myself, so I really need to feel a connection to what the artist is singing about. And, and Johnny's never had sex, so <laughs> it's just unrelatable. The 40-year-old virgin. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so they, they didn't take that very well, like, and I was just... It yeah. wasn't just that. I do have to explain the other part, is that Johnny was very new to the internet at that stage, um, and he commented back. He made the mistake of diving into the comments oh. and then like, oh. on. let's go internet. I had yeah. to just be like, pull it, be like, you're, you're blocked. You can't do this. You, <laughs> you've got a profile on the internet now and you just can't bite. You can't bite back. If people don't like no. it, that's okay. Move on. But yeah. that's where the controversy came. And I love you said Doja Cat. Because that's amazing. <laughs> we love Doja. Doja Cat's um, amazing. amazing. <laughs> <laughs> and that is one of our like dream tours because <laughs> We just love how she's kind of just like quirky and a bit like different. And I think I actually, be... I love that aspect of her. It's literally mm. nothing to do with her music or her like appearance and all that. I think she's incredibly talented yeah. and very clever. Like the music video that we did, I loved it. I thought it was great. It's just, I can't connect to those lyrics. So I can't. More? No, that was the one that she did with Scissor, wasn't it? We did but, a few songs prior yeah. to that as well. So as long as we hate her, it was just one video that Johnny was an idiot and said the wrong thing. And well, you never know. You might be feeling sexy grave. one day and then you'll pull Oh, I've never felt, I've never felt sexy in my life. No, no, no. Sex. No, you, you don't know me. I've never felt sexy in my life. Yeah, it's <laughs> true. Play, it is true. But Slipknot would be a hell of a time. Stop that. <laughs> Slipknot would be a hell of a show. I think that would be incredible. <laughs> that would or, be sick put you guys all three together oh, and shit. just watch the fans implode. Yeah. Not know how to deal with it. For sure. The maggots meets, watch Doja Cat's fans' names. The cats? Yeah, I think it's just fun yeah. to do something also that people wouldn't expect us to do and yeah. see what happens. Oh, Muse would be really oh, great. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's great. Oh. Yeah, you yeah. Muse that would in there, cool. but we'll allow it. Yeah, that would be so sick. Oh, yeah, I would that. Would be Have you listened <laughs> to the new album? No, no, actually, 
do no. yourselves a favor. I've heard, I've heard like a single or two, but like, I don't know. you should also check it good. out. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, Rage Against the Machine. You No, no, no. Yeah. You don't get to keep saying bands. You got your two. Ready, ready. Who's going to support them? Who's going to support We're them, like, today? today? Oh, today. Oh, today. Yeah. We're supposed to support Rage. No but way. What happened? Well, it's, I they think Zach broke Zach his leg. Zach hurt his ankle or knee on stage. Uh, well, we has can't he, uh, he hurt his ankle on stage. Has he never seen Jason Butler from Fever and Let Live? Yeah. <laughs> Jason's like, I broke my neck. Play yeah. on. Keep going. <laughs> uh, I did see uh, Tom Morello talking you guys up as one of his favourite new artists, which I think that's got to be both the most intimidating and wonderful experience for you guys, having someone that is like an actual true rock god just being like, these guys are the shit. Yeah, like, <clears throat> it's crazy. We met them, like, probably about five years ago now when we supported them in Paris. And they were just so lovely to us. Like, the whole band, when we supported Prophets of Rage, um, they were just, like, so lovely and welcoming and just made us feel like we were family. And then they kept inviting us back. Whenever they came to Europe and toured, they'll just, like, have us <laughs> again. So we are just, like, That's awesome. got really unfriendly with them. But when we first met them, obviously shit in our pants, thinking, okay, because we like got put on to a French gig with them in the, uh, the Zenith in France. And so we was having our sound check, obviously thinking, oh my God, sound checks are always a bit awkward anyway, but they decided to play and watch us um, in our, during our sound check. And they're playing play American, like, football. Kind of American football. And just kind of standing there watching us. So we felt all this pressure. It's the first time they've obviously seen us in sound check. And I remember just thinking, oh my God, this is awkward. And then they come up to us and introduce it and it broke the ice. But I remember thinking through that whole sound check, like, swallow me up. <laughs> no, because they'll be like, yes, the vocal, be like, vocal a cappella, guitar a cappella, bass. Yeah, we have to do it like, <laughs> like just by yourself. We'll be like, like <laughs> like blaring in this arena they're like chucking rugby balls we're like yeah. oh my god i'm normally better than this i promise <laughs> and yeah and yeah had to the witness it they just watched so, our set so you guys hadn't side. spoken to them at that point you'd never spoken to them at that point not in the no. sound check no oh, but then god. tom came on stage and i like, introduced himself um and he was really lovely and they all like watched our show just like literally just sat on the side of the stage that's so fucking cool because like not only is that just a nice thing to do but it also shows that like he, he's super aware of how it must feel for you guys seeing someone like that come in and mm. you know what you must be thinking so I, I think that's a really really nice gesture to come up and do that and it it just shows why he is where he is as well yeah they're yeah. also down to earth like all of them like even like Timmy C um Brad, be real. They're all just like the nicest, loveliest yeah. people. Does that in. inspire you guys to try and emulate that as you grow as artists to try and be like, okay, cool. There'll be, because there's going to be a lot of younger artists that look up to you guys, particularly because you span a lot of genres and you have your own thing. Is that something that you consider or try and take with you as being like, cool, we can, we can be that for the next generation? <clears throat> I think it's yeah. really important to like treat people how you want to be treated and obviously we've done like a few tours and we, we get it. Like it, we find that sometimes the bigger kind of the old school cats are actually don't have nothing to prove. So they're way more like down to earth and really nice. But then sometimes you might find like when people are all kind of on their way up that they feel like it, there's a bit of a weird like I atmosphere. Like, see, yeah, it's a bit odd. So for us, when people come on our tours, we make sure, I mean, we're giving them our rider. We're like, look, have some of this. <laughs> it's like, it's, or if, if there's not enough dressing rooms, come so we need to go to room. their rider because they're going to give a little <laughs> drinks. <laughs> no, the point is, it's like, we're just there always artists. You know what I mean? Whether you're starting out, whether you're like been in there for 10 years, we're just all like doing the same thing, essentially, that someone might have got a, more of a break than another person at some point but you just the game changes all the time so you just be nice to people i hate that whole like like we're we're punk we're rock stars and like we're gonna be a dick like, i fucking hate that it's yeah, the most punk thing is being a sweetheart yeah, yeah. it's so true it's true like, but even Take you know like you like you said <laughs> everyone like like you said you know everyone starts from the same place and comes up it's just how you get there you know is different but also the thing is it's just as 
hard coming up through the scene as it is once you're there, staying there and staying relevant and improving your worth <laughs> sort of thing, you know what I mean? So everyone's still kind of fighting the same battles and I just think it's yeah. just so much better when the whole scene is just really supportive of each other. Yeah. yeah. It's nice when you turn up to a festival and you're like, oh, hey, friend. It's yeah. just nice. I'm in a good atmosphere. It's nice. like we bumped into horror the other day. We haven't seen in ages. Have you heard of horror? Yeah. Oh, yeah, nine. Okay, I have. Yeah, and and it was so lovely to see them. But you like create this this vibe, and you can just yeah, it's nice, really nice. <laughs> I feel like the longer you're in that industry, and the more you tour around, the more bands you play with, too, the more it, and the easier touring in festivals and and playing with other people is going to become because it's it's not like just going to play shows. It's like oh, we get to socialize with our friends. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, oh, you've, you've got more than just bring me in Australia now. You've got us. We're not the most fun to hang out yeah. with, but we're definitely friendly. Friends, Australian friends. friends. <laughs> we love friends. friends. Football friends. Hey, now we like to, sadly, I have to wrap this one up as I have a, a appointment, a, an evening appointment like an idiot, but we like to ask uh, some would you rather questions to Ooh. our guests. This is like my favorite game. I love this shit. Oh, oh you only like this oh. game too. Yeah. But how dark do you go? Sometimes this game can get dark. <laughs> With him, it's horrendous. Yeah, yeah. I have to. Yeah. I have to pull him in line. Be like, you can't ask that. <laughs> you can't do that at all. All right. So we're going to start. You have to listen to one of these two songs. We're Once, starting real dark. Yeah. Well, it's pretty dark. I mean, the choice of songs. So one of these songs, once a day, every day for the rest of your life. You've got to choose either Creed with arms wide open or Nickelback photograph. What one do you choose? I'll just choose Nickelback. <laughs> Nickelback. You know they're releasing a new single? <laughs> we saw it today and we're really excited about it. Yeah. Can't wait. <laughs> we, we actually like Nickelback, so... <laughs> But photograph I mean, has been it's been burnt. You, know, you remind me, it will be a, a classic banger for forever. Yeah, absolutely. Everyone right. sings along to that song when it's on. Everyone, everyone when that comes on. You think I'm not singing? I'm gonna be singing at the top of my lungs. One hundred percent. All right, go on the next one. Uh, you get to be in one of these movies. Which one are you picking? Marvel or Star Wars? Marvel. Oh, oh, okay. You know, oh, that was easy. Which character would you guys play? Oh, I feel like I'd be that Doctor Strange. <laughs> okay. okay. So I've got powers, yeah. I've got magical powers. Yeah. And a sweet little beard thing going on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I'd be me. me. Oh, I'd okay. just have the cape. I'd just yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'd be um, Spider-Man. I can yeah. see you as a Spider-Man. Yeah. Fully. Yeah. But maybe I hate spiders. the color I'm hair as well. I'm terrified of spiders, but I feel oh, like if I was a spider, we should have asked the Australian quiz. Out. I'm glad we didn't ask the She's Australian the queen quiz. Queen of spiders, G. Queen of spiders, queen yeah. Of spiders. You have heard about Australia and our spiders, right? I know, don't. I'm scared. Don't do this to me. I'm scared. I'm actually scared. You'll be fine. It's okay. You'll be fine. We do we've have a, deep. Yeah. We've only got one that's the deadliest spider in the world. Okay. Ask the next question, Dickhead. Right. It's the size. It's the size. If they're big, that's the thing. Oh, okay. They don't get much bigger than a dog, so it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. World of Wizards. You get to either choose. You have to be Gandalf from Lord of the Rings or Dumbledore from Harry Potter. Who are you going for? Dumbledore. I'm going to be Dumbledore. I knew I liked you guys. I knew it. <laughs> I had a feeling the get-go. <laughs> Okay, would you rather play only festival shows or only solo shows? Mm. Oh. I feel like it's gotta be I solo guess show. it's gonna have to be solo. For one, festivals can be quite chaotic. The changeovers are usually like 15 minutes or 20 minutes, so you don't get a lot mm. of time set up. Also, sometimes they can be short. So a solo show, we get to do as much as we want, what we want, when we want. Yeah, I mean, great. you see our friends, solo shows is like you see your friends, like it's like the whole you know, it's really nice. See, yeah, the yeah, festivals yeah. are all friends. Yeah, They're but you all make friends. new friends. You do make new friends, but you do have to work yeah. for your friends. It's like, well, the oh. friends like you. We don't know. Step it yeah. up. <laughs> it's like the first day of high school all over again. Yeah. <laughs> Got to wear your coolest outfit. Yeah. yeah. All right. Now, you, you've asked how dark we go. All right. 
you meet your hero, your absolute hero. You're either going to vomit on them or they're going to vomit on you. What do you choose? This is a good question. Oh, I know. What I, I know. All right, go, Amy. What do you got? Uh, do you think oh. I'm Amy? This is Josh. Yep. Yep. <laughs> I looked the wrong name there. Cool. Georgia, go on. <laughs> um, I feel like I'd get them to vomit on me because then I'll be like, oh my God, like, you vomited on me and I'll be like, I'm so sorry. And then we'd be friends. <laughs> you play there forever in your yeah. debt. Yeah. Yeah, but what kind of vomit are we talking about? Are we talking like just had a kebab and chips and it's thick? Or are we talking just water? Oh no, we're going, we're going, you've just had the kebab and chips and you've also been drinking for about two hours. Cool. Yeah, but imagine how just... embarrassed you'd feel the other way around. I wouldn't be able to live that down. I'd be mortified. I guess you would be the girl who vomited on whoever it was. Doja it Cat. Was probably... <laughs> Not Doja. <laughs> yeah, maybe I'd have to do it on my leg. On my leg. <laughs> All right. All right. I don't know if I'm going to allow that. Okay. Do it on we, my got, leg. we got on the my last leg. one. <laughs> the last one. This is the divisive one. This one has split the channel down the middle. It's split plenty of bands down the middle. You have to go on stage. You're about to play your show. It's a solo show. Uh, your idols are sitting side of stage watching you. Do you put on cold, wet underwear or cold, wet socks? You have to pick one. Oh, what whilst easy. on stage? Yeah, mm. you have to walk on stage before you play, and you're gonna put on cold wet socks or cold wet undies. Oh, so you, set. you do it in the dressing room, then you have to play in that. Yes, condition. you don't have to put them on in front of the people. <laughs> uh, you just, you're gonna be playing the show in them. I do cold wet underwear because by the end of the show, your underwear's so wet anyway, and then when you dry off after the show, it gets cold. Fair. I'd go socks because putting on like cold wet clothes makes me feel cringy like ugh, like chalkboard vibes so yeah it'd have to be the wet sock okay so <laughs> we i see you. what's going on here yeah, yeah. yeah i'm i'm team socks he's team underwear uh team undies. so oh. this is the this is probably the first time in a while that we've had like two artists on the channel together so we've been able to pick pick friends so <laughs> it's not just team one of us, either the other one. You just split the channel and it's kind of even. So it balanced out. Uh-huh. But I like that. That's why you guys work. you got each other's backs, but also you've got your own tastes. Yeah, exactly. One likes wet socks and one likes underwear, wet underwear. Now, look, before I let you go, personal question that I have to ask, okay, you guys are from London, right? You do an accent? I'm from London. And London. Oh, I'm- I'm not going to do an accent, but look, Real my, my British accent has been, you know, it's it's pretty good. But do it. I need to know. No, do it. I, do I'll, it. I, no, I will I, absolutely not do it. I am absolutely not going to do it. Fucking hell. Why do you make me? <laughs> How do I end that? this interview? How do I end it? <laughs> was that all right? <laughs> that, was that was interesting. That was so funny. Interesting. We should do it. Amy, do your Australian accent. Oh, Sounds God, funny. please. No. <laughs> no. Come you, on. No, you, you made him do it. I'm going offend people. I can't do it well. <laughs> All right, mate. All right. Good Are you time, trying mate. to do an Australian accent? <laughs> no, I'm doing, I'm still English. I was. Now I'm Australian again. <laughs> you sound very Australian still. We'll work on that. We'll tweak it when we come. No okay. worries. But my question <laughs> is, are you football fans and who do you follow? Football. The Lionesses. is... <laughs> Linuses or a team. Yeah, Arsenal. like Arsenal. Like, <laughs> I knew we were going to be friends. Yeah. Team Undies, Team Arsenal Undies. <laughs> am, am I really really ha- no, you, uh, if you don't, that's okay because I also don't really care about football and that's why we're friends. I don't yeah, watch football, but you know what? It's like your, like my uncle watches football and they both support, my both uncles support Arsenal. So it's like, I support Arsenal. Yeah, like and they're, they're winning this season as well, so it's a good time right. to announce it. I don't actually I watch see. it, but I, that's what no, we'll get involved in a little world game, like World Cup or something. World maybe. Cup and Euros, <laughs> we get well involved and we watch it. <laughs> very but, good, very good. Crying for the lionesses. <laughs> Just that pride coming through. <laughs> Football well, girls, pride, thank you yeah. so much for taking the time to hang out with us. We greatly appreciate it. Uh, you're an absolute <laughs> pleasure. And I'm even more excited for you guys to come down here now. That's that's real fun. 
So we'll we'll see you in the, I guess in your, it's your summer, isn't it? Yeah, it will be our yeah. summer. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll see you in the summer. The album tour. And you can, you can tell us which of our, our cities you like best between uh, Sydney and Melbourne. And then we can. Okay. And you can help me with my accent. <laughs> no we one will, can help that you with will. that. That was crazy. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. We appreciate you guys. Okay. All right. See you later. Bye.